How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. New week, new design, new techniques. Today, we're gonna be covering up a horse with another horse. But after looking at it in person, I realized that it wasn't that dark, so it's not, I'm not gonna count it as a cover up. Uh, my name's Chandler Bobbitt, and I'm from Grand Junction, Colorado, which is about 10 hours from here. Uh, being from Grand Junction, very outdoorsy person uh, for work, I am a car salesman down at Modern Classic Motors in Grand Junction. Uh, so if you need a car, give me a call. <laughs> and there's so much we can do with this, to be honest. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, and that's why we're here to figure it out, to really figure it out and show you the amount of possibilities that you can get. Kevin said, hey, we're going to go to First Watch. It was amazing. The food was awesome. We sat down, had a very enjoyable meal with my family and Kevin here. We had a good time, figured out what we were going to do on the tattoo. I had a horse previously. Uh, I got it done by my cousin uh, on my couch, basically, <laughs> which is a good way to start a bad tattoo. I had a few people say that it was a dog, say it was a shark. Um, the legs were broken looking. I mean, one leg was going this way, one leg was going that way, so it was a pretty terrible tattoo. I was actually scrolling through YouTube one night, and I had been researching how to get rid of this tattoo forever, and then just one night, this tattoo popped up online on YouTube and I watched the video and I was like, maybe it's not over for me. So he helped, you helped me out considerably and it was awesome. Perfect. Boom. So that's what we're doing. It's gonna be a chill day. I think for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to do soft shading on the face, the texture, the muscles and stuff, how to separate all that. And then contrast. I think contrast is going to be key in this, in this uh, piece. And like every video, just go at it. Go think about it. What a placement. This is going to be sick as hell. E. Um, so I get a lot of questions regarding how I mix my inks and I do not use an ink set I actually mix my own inks with solid ink and star bright white So the reason why I like using solid ink is because it's really diluted It's watery which allows me to mix it with my star bright white Which is a thicker pigment and it balances each other out. It balances each other out, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> thicker pigment against watery pigment and they mix perfect. <laughs> it makes a good balance, there you go. It makes a good balance. In this case, for this tattoo, since it's not such a dark tattoo, I'm gonna be doing 40% black and 60% white for my medium tone, and my lightest tone is gonna be 20% black and 80% white. Boom. My needle selection is gonna be a 14 round liner, 27 curve mag, and a seven round liner to uh, do white highlights. As far as my voltage, it's going to be a 5.0 throughout the whole entire tattoo. Area, I'm going for my darkest tone to my lightest tone as I'm getting closer to the leg of the horse. So make sure you know how to separate the background and the main focus of the tattoo. The bottom of the leg is really dark so what I'm gonna be doing is going from dark 
to light and as soon as I get really close to that dark area of the main focus of the tattoo, leave a small little gap, a tiny little gap of open skin. And later on, I'm gonna be applying a white highlight to make that pop. And that's, and that's gonna bring the whole thing together. I don't do a lot of tattoos that require me to use this technique because I'm always doing texture. So the technique, what it is, is you grab your mag and you use a little bit of pressure on it, a low voltage of 5.0, nothing more than 6.0. If you go over that, you're most likely gonna, you're more, you're more, most, <laughs> you're more likely, you're more likely to scar the skin. So make sure you don't go over 6.0. Uh, and you start going in a back and forth motion with a little bit of pressure on it. Zzz, you're gonna hear that noise. Zzz. Basically what you're doing is you're lining with your mag. Make sure it's a curved mag. If you're using a flat mag, you're gonna scar the skin. So a curved mag, low voltage, and in a back and forth motion with a little bit of pressure. The purpose of this technique is to do soft shading, consistent packing, and low irritation. I'm gonna switch to my 14 mount liner because I'm gonna start doing the face. And the face has a lot of little veins and texture, especially around the mouth area.
So I'm gonna be applying now my white highlights on the skin break that I left between the leg and the background to bring the whole thing together. My parents were very supportive of the decision I was making. They wanted me to make sure I was making the right choice um, with the artist and tattoo choice, everything like that, which I did. I found Kevin, and Kevin did an amazing job. I would suggest him to anybody that's going through the same situation or just wanting a fresh tattoo because it's an amazing. It's really amazing. Let me know if, uh, if you've been using if you <laughs> if you've been using some of the techniques that I've been uh, explaining here on my videos. And yeah, drop a comment and let me know. Because if they're not working, then I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing if they're not working. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Yeah. My goal for this year is to reach 100K. So subscribe, please. So that's it for this video. If you are a tattoo artist, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you are a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Thank you.